Froggy, hi. Um, Froggy, if you check the uh, point system, you could redeem first now. So I think you should redeem first before someone else redeems it. And I and I was smart this time. I did. I promoted everything before I started. If how you wanna, if you wanna be who you are. No stutter till I die. But yeah, I, I'm. So, I was smart this time. I decided to uh, do it beforehand. But how are you doing? Did you eat today? I ate. Um, I ate some cereal. I didn't feel like making breakfast today because I had breakfast. Technically, my cereal was my lunch because I had breakfast at like 3 o'clock in the morning. Uh, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. You're doing okay? What do you mean by okay? Like, okay, like, you know, it could be better. Or like, okay, like, eh, it's, it, it's been a day. Like, eh, it's like, eh, meh day, you know? Happy Friday's Eve, though. Did you eat? Did you have something to drink? You know the questions. I'm stutter to let the eye. Doing okay? Nice. I think you already said that, but I forgot what button it was. It was seven? Am I just chatting, but nope. It was six. Ah. My beard. Um. Where's my battery yet? Battery 60%. Okay. Uh, it could be better, but it's fine. I just had lunch. Nice. Wait, you just had lunch? Aren't you like six hours ahead or like seven hours ahead? You having lunch now? You know, what's weird about Discord is that it doesn't show when you go online. Oh, no. That That is, this is even weirder. It, it shows. It's showing my stream right now. You know, but it's not showing the stream I'm doing. Dinner, sorry. Oh, I was about to say, I'm like, oh, that's that's weird. <laughs> Let me put this up here. I got so confused for a second. I was like, what are you talking about? Brent Fires is always a vibe, but we're going to have to turn the music off in a bit. But, um, yeah. Um, playing some more Jenny LeClue today. Um, and to be honest, um, to be very much, very honest, right? I'm excited because we left on a cliffhanger last time. And what I have to say is that. Well, blah, blah, blah. sorry, I was checking my phone real quick. Okay, so basically what had happened last time, we just started it. Like, it was nothing really too major. But what had happened last time was that we might, we ended up in the library. And while we were in the library, uh, we saw, like, everything was destroyed with, like, um, with the, the system being all wet and, and electric systems fried and all that stuff. And the curtains was, like cut in half and sawed in half. Uh, are we going to know what happens after the cliffhanger? We are. We're, that's what we're doing today. We're gonna we're gonna go in. We're going in. I know, I know I've been holding it off, but I, I definitely have been wanting to play this game. But um yeah it's um we saw that there was like stuff under the curtain and that's where we ended off. We don't know what's under the curtain. Jenny deducted it was a body, but we don't know for sure. And that's what we're going to find out today and continue on from there. And I'm fixing my hair. 
There we go. And I'm going to put on my glasses and um, get something to drink first. So that way, if people redeem it, I can have it right by me. Hold on. Dawnstar, hey, we're finishing. Oh, not finishing. We're continuing Jenny and LeClue because we just started. But how you doing? I'm just getting something to drink. Um, so I have it. And getting my glasses too. But how you doing? Did you eat today? And I'm going to put this over here. Glasses, there they are. <sighs> I'm good. I ate. What'd you eat? What did you eat? You know, I thought I fixed this. I thought I fixed this, but it's still showing Pokemon. Meatloaf. I haven't had meatloaf in a while. My aunt makes really good meatloaf. Very good meatloaf. All right, let's get started. And let's go. Um, hopefully you can hear things fine. It's looking like you can hear it. Okay. We're going to continue on. So like I said, last time we left off, uncovering a body, maybe, maybe not. Who knows? Are you excited for Hogwarts Legacy? Oh, I'm hella excited. I'm hella excited. Um, unfortunately, it's not multiplayer. I was hoping that was multiplayer, but uh, it's not. It, and I'm so sad about that. We're gonna pull back that curtain. Jenny knew it was wrong to disturb the crime scene. But I have to know who's under here. Slowly. She drew back the heavy cloth. Please don't be my mom. Please don't be my mom. <laughs> okay, we're about to find out. What house are you picking? I'm a Gryffindor. I took the test, so I, I kind of have to pick Gryffindor, you know? Oh, here we go. We're about to find out. Dean Strausberry. Dean oh Strausberry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it like that. Poor Mr. Strausberry. What happened to you? Was this a terrible accident? Or worse? The principal what? died. Her stomach churned. Seeing the Dean's lifeless face, his contorted frame, Jenny felt the urge to run, to get as far away from this horrific sight as possible. Slytherin's a good house. Just... Hey, or you... Did you take the test too? For a real case to solve. I didn't expect it to be like this. She gathered herself, took a deep breath, and began to search for clues. I'm just gonna take these. You did? You, you got Slytherin? That's funny. I honestly did not expect you to get Slytherin, I'm gonna be honest. Let's take all the stickers so dean straussberry is murdered got slytherin and patronus is a rat what do you mean by that
It says why. I'm glad my timers are working too. The Dean's planner lay open on today's date. Perhaps I can retrace his steps and create a timeline of events. Wednesday. Me Jenny LeClue, Judy LeClue. Um uh, Windows drop. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. Practice speech. Rewrite. Thursday. Water plants, feed cats, take out the trash. Meet Michael, quad statue in the installation. Julie Library, postpone, discuss changes. Judy, Julie LeCru. Uh, rewrite intro, Friday, 10 a.m. Rehearse speech, 1 a.m. Lunch with Keith. Corn uh, coronary? Coronary? Oh, coronary cafe. I can't read. I don't know. I, I don't remember, honestly. I honestly don't remember. I'm still excited though. I I, I want to see. I want to definitely dive into the combat of wands. Like what? That's gonna be an interesting turn of events. I'll tell you that. Um, move to Tuesday. They'll have to do it without me. Saturday. Oh, staff meeting with the dean nomination. Um, campus ceremony speech, faculty dinner, Grubner Hall. Bonfire, we're spring woods, midnight retirement, hooray. <laughs> Looks like he completed all his chores for the day. I already knew the dean was meeting mom here. So where is she now? Meet JL. Could that be mom? Where's Widow's Drop? I've never heard of it. What about the tell the truth part? Looks like he canceled his meetings on Friday and rearranged lunch with Keith. Oh, poor Keith. Jenny didn't know how she would break the news to him. But I should she be the one to tell him. Glove. Gossip spreads like wildfire in Arthurton. She does need gloves for the crime scene. I, I don't think she's going to touch him, though. He sure was working hard on that speech. I'm sad he won't get to deliver it. I'm think I'm thinking like the green stuff is just our processing of thinking, which is actually pretty cool. But um, a book about chance. Taylor heads the complete history of coin toss. Hmm. The Hawk and the Weasel the and, and the other weasel bedtime and stories. Other bedtime stories. Oh, well, she read it for important. me. Then again, he could have just joined the Dean for the ride. The Hawk and the Weasel. Did we get all of the stickers? No. We're missing some. Oh, he's something in his hand. The Dean's hand was clapped shut around a small object. <laughs> That's strange. Rigor mortis usually takes hours to set in. Those of you who don't know what rigor mortis is, it's when your body tenses up or, or your brain sends uh, an electrical shock wave throughout your body to tent up. And it, it locks everything in place. I'm sorry for what I'm about to do, Mr. Strasbury. Now, she would need, need gloves for this moment. No, but that means Julie the clue had definitely been here. She could be the last person to have seen him alive. She could be the killer. Look, and it's tied. Did, did he try to grab her ID card or something? Such incriminating evidence behind. But even the smartest criminals made mistakes. Make mistakes. Yeah, he couldn't deny this looked bad for her mom. If anyone else sees this, they'll jump to conclusions. They'll think my mom's a murderer. Unless. A peculiar thought crossed Jenny's mind. Unless there's nothing to find. Removing evidence from a crime scene was highly unethical. So was planting evidence to frame an innocent person. She had no proof of that. I have to do something. Ah, shit. Um, um, um. 
Uh, uh, leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it. My mom would kill me. We gotta leave it. We gotta leave it. I already, I already made, I already made the choice. It was too fast. They, it was either take it or leave it, and they did not give you enough time to decide that. Six cents. Book about predicting the future. I suppose it didn't belong to Mr. Strasbury then. Ironically, right? Anything we're missing here? No. This button. Okay. And we found the journal. Okay. So watch, obviously. It's smashed. Most likely from the fall. The hand stopped at 3:57 p.m. Don re redeemed second and third. Wow. Arrived just a few minutes earlier. I might have been able to save him. Okay. We already did that. There are of glass and metal debris everywhere. He has burn marks on his hand. Why would he have burn marks on his hand? What is it this? Like he's been dead for weeks. His skin is pale and colorless. And there's a strange mark on his neck. Think that's all the evidence I'm going to find here. She took one last look at the Dean's lifeless body. I'm sorry, Mr. Strasbury. I promise I'll get to the bottom of this. We're going to get to the bottom of this. Jenny knew she should leave and call the police. But how often did a case like this come along? Never. There's more to this than meets the eye. The case of the dead Some Dean. Some of this evidence must be connected. So she opened her journal to join the dots. <laughs> what was the apparent cause of death? Um, broken balcony and your mom's ID card with the children book. What? Really? No, that's not it. I'm missing something. Let's try that. Doesn't seem right. Well, definitely, I think. Hold on. Let's read the, the descriptions first. The dean's ring was stuck in the electrical ladder, electrified ladder rails. Um, the dean had burn marks on his hands. Uh, the rail is broken on the top of the floor balcony, and the debris is scattered around the dean's body. The dean was lying on a copy. Okay. So. I forgot about that part. The Dean was did have the ring stuck in there. That's why it wasn't working to begin with. So he burned his hand, fell off the balcony, and tried to grab um, Julie's ID card to try to save himself, maybe? Yeah. It looks like the Dean was thrown from the balcony when he reached down to pick up his ring. <laughs> which was stuck in the electrified ladder track. He grabbed the curtain, but it didn't slow him down. He landed on a bed of metal and glass debris. There you go. Sorry, Don. What is unusual about the Dean's death? Unusual is the neck face for sure. Um, Clutching onto your mom's ID. Dean has a strange mark on his neck. All the skin around his face is gray and gaunt. I've never seen anything like it before. Yeah, it is weird. He's holding my mom's ID card, which makes her the prime suspect. Which it Why does. Why she or anyone want to kill Dean Strasbury? Jenny suspected foul play, but what was the motive? Had she missed something? The watch. The dean's watch stopped at 3:57 p.m. Mm-hmm. When I came into the library, the clock tower rang four times. 
The library only has one exit. And I haven't seen anyone but the Dean since I got here. Which the murder could if be the in here. Murdered. The killer must still be here. Or just left. Getting away. How are we gonna get up there with the curtains? Oh. <laughs> All right, we're gonna climb the curtains. Jenny could hear police sirens in the distance. Uh oh. Someone must have tipped them off. I'll catch the murderer and keep him busy until the cops arrive. Chasing after murderers was hardly the job of a little girl. Hey, you! Stop! Ooh. Despite surviving her fall without so much as a broken bone, Jenny couldn't help but feel she had failed. As the sirens grew louder, she knew it would only be a matter of time before the sheriff arrived. And then she'd have to explain why she hadn't called for help. Uh-oh. But the worst feeling of all was that she had let the killer escape. I don't think she let the killer escape. Consciousness, Jenny heard a familiar voice. Concerned, gentle, soothing. Jenny? Oh, Jenny, what have you done? Mom? Freeze! You're under arrest. Wait, why why did the sirens come from that way from the back of the library and not the and not the freaking front of the library? That's so that's so weird. I killed him. Bro has an obsession with jail. Murder in Arthurton. This is not an appropriate story for Jenny LeClue. Yes, it is. Poor Dean Strousbury. What was I thinking? I've gone too far. Perhaps I should take a break. Come on, Rufus. Let's go for a walk. Clear our heads and work off some of this jam. That dog is not having it. I think this is, the story is just getting started. This is way more interesting. Remember, jam, jars, six. Pipe cleaners, brandy, dog biscuits. CSI class, crime scene investigation class, Jenny dead, but not really. On her head, genius, not really. Hmm. Too dark. Dean Shrewsbury. Library, 4 p.m. Back plots, Dean fixes watch. Where did CJ go? Map ring stuck in a track. Ring equals important. Why was Jenny there? There we go. There we go. Chapter four. Uh, despite surviving her fall without so much as a broken bone, Jenny couldn't help but feel that she has failed. As the sirens grew louder, she knew it would be only a matter of time before the sheriff arrived. And then she'll have to explain why. 
she did a call for help. The worst feeling of all was that she let the killer escape. <laughs> Letter to Finkel fan track. Well, it's me again, Arthur K. Finkelstein. And here we are at book 38 of the Jenny LeClue series, her most joyful adventure yet. Thank you for all the Jenny. Okay. Um. Oh, there's more pages now. Whoa. Is this is this the um the Kickstarters? If these are the Kickstarters, that's so sweet of them. That's cool. All right. I did not mean to continue the story. All right, I guess we're going in. Dean Strausberry is dead. The Dean is dead. Ding dong, the Dean is dead. Where are we? Looks like we're on a page or something. A newspaper. The Arthur's in time. Some murder. Dean Strasberry found dead. Prime suspect. Jenny L Julie LeClue arrested. Arrested. Her mom is arrested. Tell the truth. I told you I was looking for mom. Why? We were going to great papers. When do I get to see her? Did you disturb the crime scene? No. Of course not. No. Now let me speak to my mom. Is this how it feels to be interrogated? This feels scarily and creepy. Where are we running to? Dang, yeah, this is crazy. What? This is getting hefty for no reason. Well, actually there is a reason. I'm lying to you. <laughs> okay. What is back here? Oh, you could go all the way back. That's interesting. They give you a lot of liberty in this game. What is this? Keith! Please, look at me. Poor boy. Now he has no one. It was no accident. I can't believe she's here. 
He's all alone. It was revenge. Murder. Guilty. She's guilty. An affair gone wrong. She wanted his job. She's guilty. Were they lovers? Can you see it in her eyes? She's guilty. Guilty. Murder. Pure evil. Holy crap. The events are unfolding like if it was like a nightmare. This is creepy. What is going on? Is that her dad? And Jen and her? What is going on? What the hell? Uh. Run! Oof. I need to clip that. Hold on. Clip. Strasbury was dead. My mom was in jail. Keith told me he never wanted to see me again. And worst of all, I was surrounded by an evil army of giant teddy bears. Unfortunately, it was all true, including the teddy bears. My eyes. There's something wrong with them. Everything's pink. But her eyes were fine. It was the room that was pink. Pink cuddly toys. Pink furniture. Pink clothes. Where are we? And a hand drawn homage to teenage heartthrob Pelvis. Pelvis. Pelvis Cressley. Pelvis Cressley. Everything a teenage girl could dream of. It looks like a marshmallow exploded. It was at this point Jenny remembered where she was. I shouldn't be here. What happened? And what is that terrible music? I can't think straight with that racket playing. These Elvis Cressley. And where's my journal? I'm still on that. The only thing missing. The Dean's ring. It was in my pocket. She has to climb a giant ass bed? She should probably want to stop the music first. Elvis Cressley. You're the fan that I love. Ah, yes. The eagerly awaited follow up to the smash hit. Even though I'm a big star and you're just a fan, perhaps someday we could be together. That's. Who buys this that, that doesn't sound right. Hey, Tommy Sticks, how you doing? How's it going? I'm doing good. Oh man, is that your your emote? Oh, that's so cool. You spelled high with sticks. How's it going, man? We are playing a detective game called Jenny LeClue, and we just found out that the dean of the school just died, and her and the main suspect is Jenny LeClue's mom. 
And she just woke up from this weird, creepy acid dream. My friend, there you go. Uh, make some for me. Thank you. Hey, goo. You mean... Hold on. You mean... Hey, goo? Right? Hey, goo? I think I follow her. Shout out to Hey, goo. Goo made made this? Is that that's really cool? I, I've seen her make those those little miniature things, so it makes sense. Rap God, fuck off, Eminem. Take care of everything. New clip. Hey. Um. This looks like that that mirror that we just saw too. Huh? Hushed whispers in the hallway. I should investigate. Or you should be nosy. That's that's what you mean by that. Locked from the outside. Who would trap How do you lock a door out from the outside? Jenny peeped through the tiny keyhole. As her eyes adjusted to the light, she recognized the substantial frame of Winston the Clue, Arthurton's long standing sheriff, and Jenny's granddad. What? Jenny's relationship with her grandfather was in the clue stickler for the rule distrusted rumor and humorless man weakness for tiny kittens and the law above all trust humor sometimes even family but what was he doing here and who wow Florence Glatz, influential social light, generous philanthropist, suspiciously w suspiciously Glatz white teeth. I'm weak. Oh man. While Richard may have been the head of the business, everyone knew that Florence wore the pants. Exceptionally <laughs> charming and generous, she always had a smile on her face. Which is why I don't trust her one bit. Being careful not to make a sound, Jenny leaned in and listened. With everything going on, I don't have time to watch her. It's no trouble at all, really, Winston. She can stay for as long as she likes. The girls are great friends. I only hope she feels better soon. That was quite the scene she made at the funeral. She should have left the boy alone. Really, Winston? This whole situation must be unbearably traumatic for the poor girl. Her mother in jail, and what she saw in the library. One shudders at the thought. And all this barely a year after what happened to Henry. She'll be fine. Just keep an eye on her. She can be a real handful. Oh, don't worry. I've planned everything. Pony rides, afternoon tea, and tomorrow we're going dress shopping. Oh, that reminds me. I have something for you. Dress shopping? First they lock me up, now they want to torture me? I need to get out of here. Fast. But her curiosity was piqued. She had to know what Mrs. Glatz had gone to fetch, and so she waited. When Thaladius T. Pumberbitten discovered the first quartz seam lining the Great Mountains, little did he know the impact it would have on the future of the town. Little did he know the Glatz family would muscle in and take over the whole operation. We are not breaking the hour mark. Nowadays it was hard to go it hasn't been an hour. without seeing something made from it. I have to I have to fix that. Actually, technically, it has been no, no, it hasn't. We're not breaking the hour mark. I gotta fix that. We're coming up on the hour mark. The duty of sheriff had been Winston's birthright. Passed Our, from father Arthur to Tin Police generations. Department. Of course, that tradition would now end with him. But he preferred not to think about that. Granddad of who, though? 
of your dad or your um or your mom stared disapprovingly back at Jenny. Creepy old man. Actually, this was the man who saved Arthurton. <laughs> when the quartz mines began to run dry, it was his research into the unique properties of the crystals that secured the future prosperity of the town and the company. Huh? Where did he go? Boom. Yep. Winston, what are you doing down there? Hmm. Thought I heard something. Really? A man of your age spying on teenage girls? I've told you already, she won't be going anywhere. It was probably just Jenny's imagination, but those words felt oddly... Sinister. Here. Why does Mrs. Glatz have official police documents? Confidential? Satisfied. How is Julie? She's in the safest place, behind bars. Surely they don't believe she's guilty. I don't envy you, Winston. It must be hard to stay impartial. For real. Mm. If the poor dear would just confess, it would make things much easier. I have everything under control. Of course you do, dear. No one doubts your loyalty to Arthurton. We must continue to look out for each other, now more than ever. Sheriff, are you receiving? Go ahead. It's the Leclue house, sir. We found something. I'll be right there. Over. Uh-oh. It sounds like you've got important things to take care of. Yes. Well, good night, Florence. Good night, Winston. Don't let her out of your sight. Guess it's she her for now. After all. Yeah. I'm sure we'll manage. I guess it is her for now. Jenny couldn't believe what she'd just heard. Everyone thinks my mom's a murderer. Thankfully, her mother's fate was in safe hands. The fine people of the Arthurton Police Department. Oh, God. She's gonna rot in jail. <laughs> Jenny, <laughs> the to them and sprees. No. No? Mom always says a great detective leaves nothing to chance. I have to do something. But she was just a kid. What could she possibly do? This is my chance. Please She's definitely to... going against the I'm Arthur. It's like the Jenny Jenny down. has come to life and and out. was telling the Arth the author like No, that, we're not doing this. Began. She she told Finkelstein, no, I wanna solve this case. We're we're getting something better than these boring ass cases. That is not creepy at all. Let's be friends. Let's be friends. Mm. The sun was setting behind the great mountains of Arthurton, cradling the town in a warm red embrace. I slept the whole day away? I have to get out of here and make up for lost time. All the dangly bits are swaying. Strange. It's not windy in here. Best in show, horse ballet. First prize, advanced table etiquette. There's one here for best smile. Seriously? There's a track in the ceiling panel around the chandelier. It looks like it can move. Huh? A heart-shaped mirror for the lady who loves herself. Def got to take this. Now, I'm going to add things together. I'm assuming the heart. Ouch, that's hot. 
We'll come back to us. Seriously, who has windows this big? Below, Lake Nowhere stretched out as far as the eye could see. In the distance, Jenny could just make out the great lighthouse on Skull Island. It's foggy out there tonight. The Arthurton Times. Havoc at Heroes Memorial. The only way... Well, let me see that. The only way up is out. The only way forward is down. What should have been a touching farewell to a beloved member of the community was tarnished by a poorly timed act of protest yesterday at Mother of Mercy Church. The community was devastated last Thursday when Mr. Strasberry was found dead in the pools. Uh, I was found dead in the school library after apparently being pushed from a third story balcony. The murder the murder was the first the town had ever seen in decades. So there has been murders in the town. Dean Strasberry is survived by his son Keith Strasberry. An emotional, unstable child was witnessed shouting at members of the coronation, causing damage to the property and even desecrating the corpse. After a long chase with the girl, collapsed and was carried from the premises. Hundreds uh, gathered to pay their respects to the late Leslie Strasberry, the long-standing and beloved dean of Gumboldt University, who was murdered in cold blood by a member of his own faculty. After an anonymous, anonymous tip, Sheriff Winston LeClue arrived first at the scene and found the woman covered in Dean's blood. Evidence has linked her to the murder. Although a motive for killing has not been established, the woman has been event identified as Julie, Julie LeClue. That's, that's a mouthful. Professor of Crimeology and daughter-in-law to the Sheriff Winston LeClue. She remains in custody at this time while police continue their investigation. remember any of this I bet that kid's in a lot of trouble that kid is you pushed from the balcony that's not what happened and no mention of electrocution Mom wasn't covered in blood. That's a lie. Oh, uh, well, would it be the first time the news fabricated something? Jenny thought of her poor mother locked away in a jail cell for a crime she didn't commit. Don't worry, Mom. I'll prove you didn't do it as soon as I get out of here. Either this is shoddy reporting or someone is trying to cover up what really happened. My mom's still in jail, so the police must not think this was an accident. And if it wasn't an accident, then... The real killer is still out there! I've never seen so many clothes. Maybe mine are in here somewhere. Well, my clothes definitely aren't here. It'd be easy to spot amongst all the sequins and ribbons. What was that? Okay, so the light bulbs, right? It's one, two, one, two. What? It's one, two, three, and one, two, three. One, two, three. There's three spaces, or three and two spaces. Uneven amount of light bulbs.
Let's turn this off, right? That's more fun than it should be. Right? This says three, right? Boom. 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 Boom, right? Three. Boom, right? And boom. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Let's go. Family's disposable income is outrageous. Honestly. I always knew they were hiding something. I bet there are all kinds of horrific secrets lurking up there. Like what? Let's go, new sticker. Jesus. Oh, hello, spooky bear. Why do you have a big ass teddy bear? Is the bear actually watching you? Everything in here is covered in dust. Except this bear. And there's light coming from behind him. What are you hiding, spooky bear? Wait, before we go, because I'm assuming that's continuing the story. Dozens of old boxes covered in dust and cobwebs. Filled with Let's toys, this out. school projects, and old trophies. Attics, where dreams go to die. For real. Aha! A way out of here. <sighs> Locked. But where is the lock? Anything else here? Mm. All right, let's continue on. Imagine a giant ass bear is about to crush you. Teddy bear. What an end that would have been. Just as I suspected, a hidden staircase. Jenny was no stranger to the labs at Gumbold, but she'd never seen anything quite like this. Certainly not inside someone's house. Hey, what 
you doing up here? What the hell? What kind of defense is that? Susie? Susie Glatz. Heir to the Glatz fortune. Obnoxiously popular. Smells like candy. Oh, mm. uh, hi, Jenny. Uh, um, you. You should be in bed resting. What are you doing up here? I should ask you the same question. What is all this equipment? Why is there a secret elevator running from your room to the attic? Oh, you must need my collection of teddy bears. She's a cut to the chase kind of girl. Don't play dumb with me, Susan Glass. These bears are hiding nothing. And that one's wearing a welding helmet. Well, um, there's a simple explanation for that. There are just too many to fit in my bedroom. You're sweating like a freshman at prom, Susan. Now answer the question. What are you really doing up here? It's not what you think. This is where I, um, er... Teddy bears. I have vintage bears, new bears, rare collectible bears. Enough. Stop avoiding the question. For real. You don't need to hide anything. You can be honest with me. I can't. You wouldn't understand. Try me. Susie's secret was the kind you took to the grave. A shameful, dark secret. A secret so shocking she feared she would lose everything. Her friends would abandon her. Her family would be Why is there a bomb back there? She'd never find true. There's like a, a bomb. Oh God. Mm. I'm going to die alone. Like right uh, actually right here. Oh. You can't tell never mind. Right there. You have to promise me. She has a bomb there. Fine, just stop whimpering like a lost puppy. You're embarrassing yourself. <sighs> here goes nothing. This is my secret laboratory. Sorry for the honking outside. Your laboratory, where you invent things. Yes. You, a cheerleading horse riding dress wearing debutante. Yes. I want to believe you, Susie, but you know how crazy that sounds. That's why you can't tell anyone. If people found out, I'd lose everything. Could it be true? Was Susie Glatz, in fact, a secret nerd genius? Was she really leading a double life? Makes sense. There's only one way to find out. Susan Quincy Glatz, I'm gonna have to ask you a few questions. Okay. The interrogation of Susie Glatz. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Molding torch, disguise? Hmm. Pink bows, fluffy bears, stylish clothes. She can't possibly be a scientist. Do you really expect me to believe that you aren't obsessed with boy bands in the color pink? Brain or bimbo? Which one is it? I am a scientist. But I also believe in the importance of good skin care and the power of matching accessories. You sound ridiculous. Susie couldn't be pretty, popular, and smart. That was just... greedy. <laughs> Gumbalt Moonbeams, head cheerleader, paper shaker. Pin. The Dean was wearing one the day he died. Could Susie have played a part in the Dean's death? All of Jenny's instincts told her it wasn't possible, but she needed to know for sure. 
tactful. You smell nice. What perfume is that? Oh, thanks. It's called Innocent. I remember you were wearing it last Thursday at the lake. I was. What did you do that day? After you left? Peggy and I took Veronica home. She was really upset. And you were there all afternoon? Yes. Why? How close is Veronica's house to the library? I don't understand. Why do you want to know all this? I need to rule you out as a suspect. Suspect? Why would I be a suspect? You're certainly very good at keeping secrets. I didn't do anything. Just ask Peggy or Veronica. I don't know why you're friends with them. They are terrible character witnesses. First Veronica, then Keith, and now me. I never thought I'd say this, but sometimes you can be a real... jerk. What were you saying? Asshole. You didn't exactly make things easier for him, did you? You don't remember, do you? Oh, well, I suppose it wasn't that bad. What do you mean? After you interrupted the Reverend Eulogy, and after Keith asked you to stop, you tripped and knocked over the Dean's casket, and I guess they hadn't secured the lid properly, because you rolled right out. To oh the my god! As you collapsed and fell into his open grave. And that's why everyone's so worried about you. It all came flooding back. She oh my to god! She her mom and repair her relationship with Keith. Instead, she had ruined everything. Jenny had lost her best friend. You should talk to Keith. I'm sure he'll forgive you. It's not that simple. He thinks my mom killed his dad. She felt the distance between them grow with every passing minute. See, as a detective, you can't let... But th this case is so close to home, it's like... To you, like, emotions are definitely gonna get in the way. Pumpkins. Pumpkins. We found two clues. Oh, these count as clues. Dangerous. Intricli intricate assembly. Metal or plastic? I thought it says intricately, but no, it's just in intricate assembly. That's Tim. He's a thermal imaging machine. He uses reflective thermographic projections to infer depth related topography in subsurface bodies. What? Come again? He lets you see inside stuff. Hmm. Well, what about that thing? That's Judy Kate, a gamma ray induction polygraph. And that? Hydraulically propelled telemetric manipulator. And this? That's Coffee? What he said. Okay. What? I like to drink tea. How did you get all this stuff up here anyway? And without being seen? You'd be surprised how much you can hide in a giant stuffed teddy bear. I know what's going on here. You've stolen all this stuff. And you're planning to sell it all to buy more fluffy cushions or pink horses or something. I didn't steal anything. Her judgment she is just, as a detective, she's so, so rash to jump to conclusions, That's you know? Allowance. If you didn't steal it, why are you worried about people finding out? I'm head cheerleader. I'm captain of the equestrian team. If the other girls knew about this, they'd laugh me all the way to the back of the cafeteria. Why do you care what they think? It's not just them. If my parents found out about my lab, they'd kill me. Why? why? Don't they want you to be a scientist? Exactly. I think they'd like me to marry a scientist. Dad says science is a man's job. Girls are supposed to bake pies and become prom queen. Ugh. Interesting. Everyone in Arthurton is stuck in the past. If anyone else showed him the things I've created, he'd call them a genius and make them his lead scientist. So tell him. Prove him wrong. I... I just can't. You have to keep my secret. I'm begging you, Jenny. So she's all just rude because her she likes there. the same boy? Jenny couldn't help but feel I don't think that's the case. I think she's rude because she's just impulsive. There was more to Susie than she had first I think there's she has a sense of like confidence and yet cockiness. And she doesn't tie herself 
because obviously obviously she's more logical and i think she doesn't tie herself to a lot of emotion and so because she doesn't tire tie herself to a lot of emotions she's more likely to burst out because she's probably like i'm i'm not to really read into it but she's probably suppressing a lot of emotions you know considering that she's she's always looking from a logical standpoint and because of her logic she can tend to she has the deductive reasoning but she also jumps to conclusion because she's always feels like she's right you know maybe that's the case that's just a, that's just my theory and i think that's why she lashed out to begin with you know seeing textbooks strewn about the floor reminded jenny of something my journal I need to get my stuff back. Where are my clothes? Oh, Gerald took them. Who the hell is Gerald? Our butler. Of course you have a butler. He's taken them to be cleaned and pressed. They'll be ready in a few days. Well, I need them. Now. I've got a dress that would be perfect for you. It's got purple bows and the sequence will really bring out the color of your eyes. No, thank you. I'd rather be burned to death. <laughs> That's nice. No one's gonna take me seriously in a purple ball gown. And where's my other stuff? <sighs> Don't tell me Gerald's got my journal. It's irreplaceable. Like I'd let that nosy old fool see your diary. It's not a diary. It's my case notes. Right, of course. A girl's gotta have a place to keep her secrets. I put all your stuff in the lockbox under my pillows. Are you kidding me? No wonder my head hurts. Jenny was confident that Susie wasn't involved in the Dean's murder. Oh, no she sugar, honey, Sherlock. Just insufferable. All right, I'm going to grab my stuff and get out of here. Okay. Oh, while you're wandering around, can you find some parts for me? I need a battery and a transistor to finish this device. What? No. I did something for you. It was true. Susie had kept Jenny's journal safe. And the Dean's ring. She'd even revealed her darkest secret to Jenny. Fine, enough already. What's a transistor? Oh, it's an electronic voltage regulator that. Just tell me what it looks like. It's a tiny metal object with an antenna and three legs. If you can't find one in my bedroom, there are some old boxes in the attic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Transistor and battery. Got it. Okay. Go, Jenny! I've got to get out of here. All right, let's continue on then. We're looking for a transistor and a battery. Uh, it kind of sucks that she can't she can't run right now. Oh. metal objects with three legs and a battery uh, the battery will probably find in her room and the transistor she said is probably in the attic with a bunch of the old stuff Bunch of old science fair projects. They had all been submitted by anonymous, anonymous. and they'd all won first prize. Nice. These awards should be hanging on the walls downstairs. It was sad to see all these marvelous accomplishments hidden away in the attic. Susie wanted so badly to please her parents, <laughs> to live up to their expectations of what a Glatz girl should be. She never even told them she'd entered the science fairs.
There we go. A tiny metal object with an antenna and three legs. Looks like a transistor to me. Now, where can I find a battery? Okay, battery might be downstairs. So, we're gonna go downstairs and get that mother loving battery. Also, I've been looking at, um, you know, like designing merch and stuff. Um, I know it's a little, it's a little too early. We're only at like 140 followers, but, um, I've been looking at merch only because like, I kind of, I kind of just want to expand and I kind of want to get stickers for myself. I like, I like to have stickers. I like to put them on my laptop. I'm sorry, Mr. Pig, but I need your batteries. There you go. Pig. I love you. I love you. Weird. This only hurt for a second. Ooh. Sorry, Piggy. Thank you, Pig, for doing nice. your body to science. That's Susie's stuff taken care of, but I still haven't found my own. She said it was under the pillow in her bed. All right, but yeah, I, I kind of want to get stickers because I put stickers on my laptop and I want to start decorating stuff with my stuff. Move them damn teddy bears out the way. Let's see, stars, lips, hearts, and beakers. What would a girl like Susie use as a password? Beakers. Okay, this might take a little bit longer. Hold on. Let me see if I could get this over here. This over here, right? We were close. We're close. Okay. Oh, like that, right? And then. There we go. Boom, bit of boom. What colors for the stickers? Um. So the stickers are the emojis that I have right now. I was thinking about getting those. Tampering. At least Susie knows how to mind her own business. I'll give her the battery and transistor. And then I'll find a way out of this place. Nice. Okay. Anyway, um, so the stickers are like the emojis I have now. So like, um, I'm I'm gonna start putting emoji walls on myself so I can like really showcase it. Uh, let me see. Let me see if I can get it on. Let me widgets. Let me do an emoji wall. Okay. Yeah, let me just like, spread them out, spread it out, and then I'm going to show you the emojis right now. So like, 
this emoji, uh, these emojis. Not, not the penguin. Not the penguin. The penguin doesn't count. The penguin doesn't count, but like, emojis like that. So like, those, the emojis I have out right now, that's, a, that's what I was thinking, like those stickers. Um, but uh, yeah. And then I was creating like a, a sweater with a design on it that says I am royalty and I, I think that would be pretty cool too. Um, but I think that's that's so far what I got right now. And like I said, I know it's like way too early to like start putting out merch. But I like I like to experiment a lot and I like to like just see how I can really up my stuff to the next level. So I was thinking about getting it and just like showcasing it off i also i also thought about a mug and putting like my logo on it too i think that's cool i put like a crown on it i'm trying to i'm gonna see if i could get a person to design a crown um the way i want it and start working on that but we're gonna work our way up um i do like i said i have a lot of plans I have a lot of plans, but I think I think they will look pretty cool. Oh, wonderful! Thank you. Now back to the task at hand, making my escape. Don't you want to know what these parts are for? Only if it will help me get out of here. Ah! Careful! Ah, it's a stick of dynamite! Dynamite? Are you crazy? You could have blown me to bits. Why do you have dynamite? Be careful! What are you making bombs for? They're not bombs. They're silent explosives. Silent explosives? Think about it. Dynamite that doesn't make a sound. Impossible, you say? Not at all. My first breakthrough came when I discovered the unique properties of... I can use this to blow my way out of here. No, I, I, I was actually interested in what she was saying. But I think my mom would notice that part of the house was missing. Yeah, yeah, okay. Well, thanks for the show and tell. But it's time for me to go. And how exactly are you going to leave without being seen? And in pajamas. Season, I'll be making my exit through the window in the attic. Once I found a way to unlock it. Oh, you're out of luck there. My parents are super security conscious. All the windows are locked electromagnetically. Where are the controls? Downstairs, in Dad's study. And I can't get there without being seen. Is there some kind of override? It's impossible to open them from up here, unless there was a total power failure. Well then, I know exactly what to do. Okay. Hey Max, how I'll you doing? You need help. Hope you've eaten today, hope you've gotten something to drink today. The case of the escaping Glatz Manor. And we're just catching up on some Jenny LeClue. And I was talking about making stickers, you know, for, uh, um, for, in terms of merch, getting stickers and a, and, uh, a sweater. I'm making a sweater. Um, because I thought it would be interesting and I, and I like to experiment. So I, I thought that would be cool. And I, and once I, uh, start funding for that type of stuff, I'll let you know how it turns out and we'll, we'll go from there but uh but i'm glad you've eaten today what'd you eat donster i asked you what you ate yeah you meat. you ate meatloaf and for all you got you're probably sleeping right now but i hope you ate your usual and if you are sleeping have a good night get some rest since this is the first time we have met i will need to calibrate to begin please answer this simple question what is the meaning of life what how am I supposed to answer that? Ha, ha, ha. She got Just jokes. Kidding. Oh, sorry. I've been experimenting with her personality chip. She's using humor to build a better rapport with subjects. Still needs some work. To begin, please tell me your name. What if I tell a lie? My name is Susan Glass. Ooh. That was a lie. Please tell me your real name. 
Let's tell her the truth then. My name is Jenny Leclue. Wolfie, hey, how you doing? I am ready to detect. Please speak a truth. Uh, I hope you're good and, and you are well. This is really fun. I'm having the best time of my life. Um, I'm actually still here. I'm actually had chicken for dinner. Nice. Good to hear. I'm doing good too. That's good. Whoa. I think I broke it. It's okay. Her fuse just stripped. She gets very sensitive if you lie to her, especially if it's a big lie. But don't worry, she'll reset in a minute. Ooh, that's good to know. That that could cause to set the fuse okay we need also something else um let me catch up or chat real quick at dinner y'all what'd you eat wolfie how you doing um are you just getting out of work or you're home Jeez, there's a magnet here there we go whoa that could have killed her Oh, that's just Maggie. She helps me find things I've dropped on the floor. Why do you have a man's ring? Let's tell the truth. It belonged to you know, you don't go nowhere. It belonged to a friend. I'm taking care of it for him. But that doesn't make any sense. I'm telling you the truth. No, I mean, why would a ring made of gold stick to a magnet? Unless there's something more to it. Which of these machines did you say could see inside things? We're gonna look with Tim. Excuse me, Tim. We need your help. Ooh. Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. My name is Tim, the thermal imaging machine. Metal, plastic, wood. There's nothing I can't see inside. That's what she of said. Course, your innermost thoughts. Look, I don't need a That's creepy. Friend. I just need him to examine the ring. I just got Witcher 3. Ooh, good game. Good game. Go easy on him. He's quite sensitive. I hope you have fun with it. Ugh. Hi, Tim. Witcher, nice Witcher should definitely make an MMO. I think it would be oh, fun. How wonderful it is to meet you, my new friend. How can I be of service? Uh, Max, did you get I Animal Crossing? Look inside something for me. I'd be delighted to. Please place the object on my soft, velvety platform. Come to me, tiny object of vast mystery and import. Reveal to me your deepest secrets. Swim in my warm bath of gamma rays. I'm peering deeply inside you. This is interesting. What's that? Deeper still. I've That's what she said. That's what she said. Is there? <laughs> it's too easy. It's way too easy. All the wonders I have seen. Well, spit it out already. One moment, please, while I paint you a picture of the journey we just shared. I knew there was something special about this ring. It's full of tiny cogs and gears. I've never seen such intricate craftsmanship. I need to borrow your microscope. Tiny buttons hidden in plain sight. Clever. I wonder what they do. Well, we have no way of guessing the combination, right? There's four buttons. Um. Well, that clicked. Sixteen possible combinations, right? Or eight possible combinations. Oh, we guessed it, though. 
Not yet. I'm gonna get it, but I wanted to stream it. Didn't know I needed a capture card, so that sucks. I told you you needed a capture card. What are you talking about, Max? I said you're gonna need a capture card if you're gonna get a Switch. If you want to stream it, you also need a laptop or something to stream it on. You know, that's what the terms. You need Streamlabs or or um. Uh oh. Susie had entrusted her deepest, darkest secret to Jenny. The least Jenny could do was be honest with her. Uh oh. Let's trust Susie. It's the Dean's ring. Well, it was. You stole the Dean's ring? Technically, I found it. Jenny, you've got to turn that into the police. It could be important Ooh. evidence. Considering the police, they yeah, throw the whole switch the away. I certainly won't be handing it over to them. But what if they ask me about it? I can't lie to them. I'm a terrible uh -oh. liar. You're sure? It's not lying. She she it's seems to spawn more to positivity, own. right? But I can't go to jail. My parents will disown me, and my reputation will be ruined. No one's going to jail. As long as we protect each other. I'll keep your secret. You keep mine. Like friends. Sure. Now go back there was nothing. The she it, from the beginning of her her I've got a introduction. It seems like Susie was never bullying you or making fun of you. So, yeah. But uh, no, yeah. The, the switch you need, you need a capture card, unfortunately. That's what I'm using right now. I'm using the Elgato, but it, it depends on, you know, what what laptop PC you're using. You know, you got to do your own research, but um, I have my gear. I have my gear. I could, um, my gear is in my about section. So if you want to check out what I'm using at the moment, you can always go see that. Hold on. My mom doesn't have the keys. I have the keys. But, um... Yeah, so if you want to check out my gear, that's what I'm using right now. You can use something totally different. This is just what I have so far and what I'm able to use at my disposal. Uh, because of my living situation. Um... But I am But when I do get the parts to build the PC which I'm gonna build my PC um uh, You're gonna see it you're gonna see me building it He man Okay, all right Don. Oh, I, for I forgot to turn on my stream my stream chat bot That's exciting, yeah. It, when, but I'm gonna, I'm not gonna film. The, obviously, I'm not gonna stream the process of me moving out and stuff. But once, once I get my new place and set up the internet, I'll stream building my PC and my setup. And I think that's gonna be super fun. I got you, Don Star. So the next time, next time I'll stream. I'll probably stream later tomorrow. Because I'm going out tomorrow, but um The next time I stream I will I will put that in I'll put it later tonight But um, yeah, I'll put that in no worries And so I cross the world on a Take a brief deep breath and I get real high and I stream on top of my gun What's going on? Say hey, 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 hey. Clearly the work of a genius. Okay, she's secretly smart. We get it. What is all this anyway? Oh, that? I'm working on a proof to help me pick the perfect prom dress. You've got to be kidding me. Let's go. I know, I know. I'm not sure it can be done either, but I've got to try. Are you serious? It's the biggest decision a girl has to make. Gross. What 
the hell is that? Agile? It's enormous. I haven't finished calibrating him yet. If you want to help, get him to pick some things up and put them down again. He needs the practice. I pick things up and put them down. Too heavy with that short circuit? Hmm, must have been too heavy. Please be gentle with Claude. He's only a prototype and I'm out of replacement parts. I've got it! In the back of Jenny's brilliant mind, a plan was forming. Bum bum bum. Exactly how to get out of here. All right. How can I escape from Glatz Manor? The window is locked electromagnetically and connected to a power supply. Dynamite that doesn't make a sound. She blows a fuse when I lie to her. Tim can see inside small objects. Um, when I try to lift something heavy, it sparks and overloads. Let's make the deduction. When I overload the robot arm, it sparks and fuses. Okay. And when I lie to Judy Kate, she nearly overloads the power supply. So if I could overload them at the same time, then I might be able to short the power and open the window in the attic. But Jenny couldn't operate both <laughs> machines by herself. So let's talk to Susie and overload her inventions. And we're going to try. Yes? I need your... Asking Susie for help is worse than having a tooth pulled out. Really? Seriously? Set your pride aside. Of course. What can I do to help? I didn't say I needed your help. Oh, sorry. I don't owe you anything. Okay, okay. What do you want me to do? She Go has some duty. issues. Uh, all right. But why? No time for questions. Just wait for my instructions. So, Susie, are you ready? Welcome back, Susie Glass. I am ready to detect. Please speak a truth or a lie. Okay, I'm ready. What should I do now? No worries, Don. Just hold on until I give the signal. The robot arm strained under the weight of the giant metal object. Okay, Susie, tell a lie and make it a big one. Oh, okay, a big lie. Oh, I've got just the thing. I'm wearing black socks. That's the big lie. That was a lie. No, Susie, a big lie. Something terrible. I'm just no good at lying. Tell Judy Kate you killed Dean Strousbury. What? That's horrible. I can't say that. Do you want to help or not? Yes, but. Then hurry up and say it. 
Okay, okay. I killed the Dean. Louder. I killed the Dean. <gasps> Got us playing coffee I talk. Let's go. Say it like you mean it. I murdered Dean Strawberry. I bashed his brains in. Oh my God. I danced on his grave. Oh my God. <laughs> messed up oh my gosh I'm a horrible person <laughs> as Susie Glatz contemplated every bad thing she'd ever done in her life Jenny heard the unmistakable sound of success let's go it worked Is Susie going to be okay? You can't talk to her. She's she's too stunned to speak. Hold on. I got to I got to uh, talk in the Discord real quick cuz I didn't got us playing Coffee Talk. I love Coffee Talk. I think I might continue it, Wolfie. Ironically, I might continue it here on stream. Jenny. Hold on. Now? It's past curfew. Watch me. Well, you can't go out wearing pajamas. I'm not playing dress up with you while my mom is trapped in jail for a crime she didn't commit. The real killer is still out there. And what if you find him? What then? Jenny paused. She hadn't thought that far ahead. Aren't you scared? She probably is. Of course, Jenny was scared. She should admit she the would truth. Never admit that to Susie. Really? My mom always says a great detective shows courage in the face of danger. Now is the time to be courageous. Well, let me help you. We can work out a plan together. Sorry, Susie, but I work alone. At least take this with you then. So we can stay in touch. Accept help. Fine, I'll take it. <sighs> the Susie talkie. But don't call me. I'll call you. Okay, good luck. And be careful. There's still a killer out there. I'll be fine. Jenny, you won't tell anyone about I my did that like tw right? 15 minutes later. Only if you cover for me. Of course. I'm always here for you. We're going to be best friends, Sheila Clue. I just know it. Sure. Right after I sign up for cheerleading. To catch a real killer, Jenny needed her detective gear. But that was at home, across town and swarming with police. It wasn't wise to travel through town after curfew. To avoid being caught, she'd have to find another way home. Excellent, thought Jenny. Time to exercise my sneaking muscles. Let's do this thing. And I'm getting hungry a bit, so I might um, turn on my PG tuber and switch to that. Well, I eat, but, um, we'll figure it out. Wait, let's make sure there's not a sticker back here. Let's check. Jenny paused at the edge of the roof, her teeth chattering in the chill wind. Below her, Lake Nowhere glowed eerily in the darkness. From this vantage point, she could see all the way to the lighthouse at the center of the lake. Only the wealthiest families in Arthurton could afford such spectacular views. 
by Dawnstar. Um, be uh, be careful out there. I hope you have a good rest of your day, and I'll see you next time. I'll make sure to put the He Man on there. Well, I've already worked out a way across. Time to get off this roof before someone spots me. Frick. Think fast, Jenny. And just like that, Jenny was gone. Her first great adventure cut short before it had begun. Uh, I'm right here. Just hanging around. Ah. This is the Glatz's mansion. Interesting. There's so many places to look right now. Let's see. There we go. Oh, we found a postcard scrap. Nice. Did we get all the scraps? Hold on. Um... Oh! There's a character sheet. Uh, choosing this. A realist. We're a realist. And logical. And a planner. CEO. Dedicated, strong-willed, and direct. A brilliant leader who inspires other. A jack of all trades and a fountain of knowledge but you can't be inflexible and emotionally distant inflexible and emotionally distant that sounds about right <laughs> that sounds about right um choosiness you choose something totally normal for the mantle whistle you choose a creepy tune for the mysterious mantle whistle uh you help mom the first time she asked, you try to get out of helping mom. You can decorate these tabs, but postcards. Oh, we got five out of six on the first postcard. And it looks like there's more. Okay, I think we're going towards. That's the way to Main Street. I can't risk being caught by the sheriff or his goons. The safest way home is across the, the lake. sheriff or his goons, like it's not her grandfather. Okay. Here we go. I'm wondering. Alright, so I think we found everything here. And we're going to continue on. Okay, yeah, we definitely found everything here.
found more gallery art. Art, art, art. I'm trying to say British. I, I can't, I can't do it. Paper plane. True believer. Oh. I am the one you seek. I swim in the shadows of giants that stir beneath an eerie silence. Follow the path, reach the truth. There's an eight. What a curious and cryptic message. Was it meant for her? And who had written it? Friend or foe? Probably CJ. This could be from the killer. But it was far too dangerous to find out. I have to find out. And so she decided to ignore the message and carry on to her house. There's no way I'm ignoring the case of the mysterious message. She said it already, so. Making my way home after curfew requires sneakiness. Sneakiness. Taking the lake as the safest route. Case, uh, da da da. Uh, who said this and why? This must be a clue. Could have been from the Dean's killer. Uh, change page. His clothes. Carries postcard on scrap to do. Look out for the remaining pieces. Curfew at 9 p.m. When will this madness end? Student gardener, annoyingly knowledgeable about Arthurton plant life, works with the Dean Strasbury in his greenhouse. Dean Strasbury sure is very nervous today. That's unlike him. What is he meeting mom about? CJ, acting kooky as usual. What does CJ stand for anyway? Secret code. I think we read this. The early, oh, the secret code. The early bird can't catch the lazy worm. Uh, people in glass houses should invest in curtains. The last donut is the tastiest. Sticker club. Well, it's good, Jordan. How you doing, man? Uh, often hiding in plain sight. Great for discovering journals. In case of the missing glasses, too easy. They're on the head the whole time. Keith should really stand up to those. To his dad and quit the team. But he's right. Mom needs me. Keith can't. You see that Peggy and Veronica are making fun of them. I wouldn't be bullied by a bunch of cheerleaders. Lakeside party, uh, dance party. Music terrible, mysterious inference. Interference, um, uh, a falling wrench. Nearly killed me. Why are the power lines burning out so quick? Shake, push, kick. Shake, push, kick. Case of the damaged bookcase, broken banister, torn curtain, signs of accident, or power play. Uh, ladder Tron 5000 recently installed, already malfunctioning, risk of death high. Note to self, always bring a flashlight. Okay. CJ was in the library, left all his research and a fancy map of the town. Why do you leave in such a hurry? Case of missing Dean, case of a lifetime, size of electrocution. Uh, I'm alright, how you been? Chris on his way home right now. Lit, the boys are back. Let's go. Oh yeah, he's coming back? I thought he was leaving. I thought he was leaving though. Signs of electrocution, strange veins on his neck and head, holding mom's ID, watch stop time of death, 3.57 p.m. Rigor mortis has already set in, strange. So many questions, why was mom meeting the dean um, at Widow's Drop and where is that? Was anyone else there? Was there merely an accident? Who called the sheriff? was a terrible nice nightmare newspaper report yada 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 find the battery we did that okay nah he left last tuesday but he's leaving the base today for good as he's starting a new job at um with the army yes is he recruiter Susie. a gift from Susie's father as a thank you for preparing his lunch one day this will get me that's a gift in no time Unfortunately, the boat didn't belong to her. I'll just borrow it for a couple of hours. They won't even notice it's gone. But borrowing something without asking first was just stealing. It's always easier to ask for forgiveness than wait for permission. Honestly. 
Of course, the boat needed a key. Jeez, nobody trusts anyone these days. There must be some other way to start the engine. Because I forgot. No worries. Warning. Risk of electrical shock. Third degree burns and smothering and smoldering flesh for death. Uh, warranties void remove. We got a new sticker. Let's go. And I think we found everything. I bet I can hotwire the boat if I get this panel off. Risk of electric shock. It was far too dangerous. I love danger. I live for danger. Unscrew that mother lover. Unscrew this. Oh, Jordan, I was talking earlier about um, I'm deciding to get stickers and I'm designing a shirt. All right, not a shirt, a uh, hoodie. Damn, this one's stuck. But um, I think I'm gonna get them and find out and find out how the um, I can just pry the panel back. How they feel, how they look, you know, stuff like that. I I hope they come out transparent. Hopefully, by the time you make them, I could get one. By the time they're out, um. By the time they out, uh, I'll probably be at 200 and I'll give a giveaway. I'm doing a giveaway at 200. Child to even attempt. Also, I'm ahead of you now. Detective focuses on the solution, not the problem. It looks like I can bypass the ignition by turning the dials until all the lights are illuminated. Piece of cake. Looks like only the red should it should only be on the red. What if, wait, I know, <laughs> don't worry, we're, we're in a long going battle. It definitely seems like these two should be the case. Where does that one go? All three can be lit up with... See, that works, right? Okay, what am I missing? What am I missing? Um... I want it, Yamal Loki. All 
All right. Let's see. There we go. There we Jenny go. Found a way to cross the lake, but she was still a long way from home. She pulled out her journal and plotted a course. First, I'll navigate my way around Skull Island. Next, I'll sail up the river to the Almasdan Bridge. Then it's just a short stroll through the Forgotten Forest. And finally, home. Got it. Let's go. All right. On we go. Jenny had never crossed the lake after dark. Come to think of it, she'd never even driven a boat before. She thrust the throttle forward and felt a cool wind whip through her hair. Sneaking around after curfew had its benefits. But um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I'm gonna order I'm gonna order some some products. Just order like three. Not even maybe. I, I'm still deciding. I'm probably gonna order one and see how it turns out. Order my stickers, order the sweatshirt and the mug, and see how they turn out turn out good then i will order a bulk of them and send it and like you know people can get them and whatever how do you drive oh a b that's weird Um, yeah, and I'm gonna see how they turn out. I, I'm gonna show, I can show you guys the design. I'll show you the design in Discord. Um, I don't want them to come out just exactly yet, unless the store already is out for them. Okay. Nothing here. There's something there, obviously. But I'm gonna show you the design. It, it does say like it has, I the the thing. It says I am royalty. I think it looks pretty cool. But uh, we could talk about it. I can add some stuff. And you know, go from there. Let's go, new sticker. That's so weird how it turns. Let's go. Nah. And boom. Oh, 
Oh, that's pretty. And it, and it like shows like a skull. That's dope. Whoa. Hi, mom. Summer camp is going great. We took a field trip to the observer observatory last night. I've seen, I've never seen so many stars. Ricky knew all the constellations. He's so smart and super cute. And he's held my hand. Don't worry, he's only two years older than me. Please don't tell dad. I miss you all so much. Love, Stella. Stella as in like Stella Moon? Let's zoom in a bit. Shows a picture of the dragon. It's pretty dope. All right. Nice. We found all of the postcard points for the first postcard. Okay, nothing here. Really, still nothing. I swim in the shadows of giants. This must be the place. Oh, we found something. Let's go. Also, the reason why I'm streaming like relatively late is because um, my mom's probably getting a new phone today. And I was up all night last night trying to help her fix it, but I, I couldn't without having to pay for something. Let's see. The elusive red herring, a rare and fantastic sight. Ha! I can't believe they really exist. Jenny had always believed they were a fisherman's tale, but seeing them firsthand. She's so beautiful. If you guys don't get the word what on play, the red herring. Videos? Red herring means it's like something um, Meaning like something to throw out at you just to throw you off It has nothing to do with the actual story or case curious I am the I voice, am the voice oh. of reason. Okay, I walk amongst the sunken ships that once sailed through the glowing mist it's another clue. This case just got more dangerous. Jenny had no idea who was behind these messages. This could be an elaborate trap. Or it could be the answer I need to prove my mom's innocence. The best course of action was to go back and get help from an adult. No, I have to see where this leads on my own. Bo is holding Jenny back. Holding her back tremendously. Sunken ships, glowing mist. That should be easy to spot. Thanks, fishies. Yeah, buddy. I knew we would find something.
we been here before? We probably have. That's another piece of gallery item. Gallery, gallery art, gallery. Jesus, I stumble over my words today. Lake nowhere. Oop, there's a sticker here. Eagle Bay, Almas Dune Ridge, Bear Claw Bend, Skull Island Lighthouse and Sandwich Shop, Round Rock, Shallow Grave Waterway, Fishing Area, okay, we're going into Shallow Grave Waterway. Oh, is that a postcard or a sticker postcard we got a new postcard There we go. A rock crab. A crustacean. Ha! <laughs> nice. Making sure there's no more stuff around here. Whoa, that can't be good for the boat. I gotta be more careful. Danger, low visibility. Jenny. I got a head in this low. Bye, Froggy. Thank you for joining in. Thank you for lurking in. And I'll see you next time. Let's see. Ooh, I guess we were in the right place, but before we continue. 
Let's get them stickers and scraps. Let's go. All right, let's see. Jenny navigated carefully through the thick fog. Oh, it smells like rotten It's getting fish. more and more and interesting. Many ships had lost their bearings here, grounded on the ragged rocks. The ghost ships. By the lake. Maybe I could shed some light on these ghost ships. She's afraid of the dark, but she's not scared of this. I'd be tremendously terrified. Trembling in the wakes of fog. What's good, Connor? How you doing? Another message. This is starting to feel like a wild goose chase. I am the hope in darkness. I sit in a spiral of ancient stone. Against the clock, I move alone. What's with all these cryptic messages? And where are they leading? What's going on? Um, we're solving the mystery of a dead person. But we're trying to escape the curfew of the town. Yo, nice. You gotta send a picture, man, because how's how's he looking? How's he feeling? How's he doing? As long as he's healthy, you know? phone I will I'll do that in a second Skull Island home to an abandoned lighthouse and an excellent sandwich shop decommissioned over a hundred years ago but the light mysteriously continued to illuminate the darkness Some narrow ass pathways. Ooh, definitely not good for the boat. I'm just trying to see if there's any scrap stickers for like art. Speak of the damn devil, and he shall appear. Scrap? Let's go.
Okay, so we got to go around this. Oh. got some gallery art let me check the phone ah he looks so cute he's getting blacker he's getting some melatonin buddy let's go Found it exactly right away. Gallery, not bad. Let's continue though. I'm looking for the. I'm really like searching for the postcard scraps, you know. I'm being watched. Ah! Well, aren't you ominous? Nice birdie. What are you doing all the way out here? How rude. What well, I meant to do. Okay, it won't let me do it. Come on. There we go. Yo! This bird trying to kill us. It threw a rock at me. Definitely not. That was a crap. Yes. Come back for that one. The bottle's there, but let's go circle back around. I am the 
answer to the unasked question. I stand inside the crescent moon. Below death's gaze, I wait for you. I wait for you. This could be the last clue. So caught up in unraveling the mystery, Jenny failed to recognize how dangerous this chase really was. Mm. Who is waiting at the crescent moon? Whoever it was, our intrepid detective would need to be extremely careful. That's for sure. Crescent moon, below death's gaze. Time to wrap up this case. All right, I think I'm going to end it off here. We're below death's gaze to save. OK, let's check the gallery out real quick and see. Holy crap. We got CEO. A lot of concept art here. Hmm. These are cool. Mastermind, I'm assuming. Yeah, but I'm going to end it off here. If you enjoyed today's stream, please consider leaving a follow. I really do appreciate it. And um, you can probably be able to get notifications to catch the next stream. Um, make sure you eat something. Make sure you drink something. Um, and if it is your birthday, happy birthday. And I'll see you guys next.